What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about how to use the extension Fredo Corner in order to round off objects to make them look more realistic, specifically when modeling a light fixture. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. So in the course we do everything from learning basic tools in SketchUp all the way into getting into more advanced workflows like modeling for interior interior design and exporting drawings to layout. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp game to the next level, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're going to model kind of a wall light fixture. And so in order to start off, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw basically a circle that's going to come off the wall just like this. And then we're going to build on that. And so basically the way that we're going to do this is we're just going to move this in and out. So we're going to use the uh, circle tool in order to create our base circle. And then we're just going to use the offset tool and the push pull tool the push pull tool to start detailing out our light. And so the way that we, we can do this is we can just push pull this in a little bit. And you can see how I'm just basically roughing out the shape of the light. So this part right here isn't very deep. So then we're just going to offset this in one more time in order to make kind of the centerpiece that our circle is going to come off of. And so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to use the extension round corner and I'm going to come in here and round off these edges. And so this is really easy. I can just click on this edge and then I can set whatever I want that offset to be. So if I wanted it to be like three quarters of an inch, I could type in that value and then I could just click the check or just click in order to run that. And we could also come in here if we wanted to and round off all of these edges. So if we wanted these to be a little smoother, maybe like a quarter of an inch there or something like that, we could do that as well. So the nice thing about round corner is it lets us come in here and really smooth off these edges to make this look a lot more realistic. So in this case, we're gonna go to an eighth. And you can see I'm just clicking and rounding those off. And so now I have a pretty good view of what my housing is gonna look like on this. Well now, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create our pipe that runs along to our light fixture. So the way that we're gonna do that is I'm just gonna right click on this circle and I'm just gonna click the button for find center. And what that does is that allows me to basically set a point at the middle where the center of that object is. And then I'm just gonna draw a line out, probably not quite that high and then up, across, and then back down. So that's gonna give me my general path, but what we wanna do is we wanna round this off. So you can see how I can just use the arc tool to come in here and just round off these edges. And then for this one, because I want the curve on the other side to be the same, I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode to move this across and then flip it, and then I'll move it back. And then once I do that, I can erase this edge. And so now I have my kind of curved edge that this is gonna run along. So I can go ahead and select this and uh, I'm gonna use the follow me tool in order to extrude this along this path. And so in this case, the one thing I didn't like about that is it's a little, uh, it's a little wider than I think that it needed to be. So I'm just gonna offset this down again. Then we'll just run that again. So now if I use the follow me tool, I've got this tube that runs along this path and I can go ahead and single click on it and then right click and do a reverse face. And now what we want to do is we want to create our actual like fixture itself. And so in order to do that, there's a few different ways that you could do that. In this case, what I'm going to do, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is you see how this edge right here it's kind of exploded along here and we don't want that because like for example, if we were to push pull this, you can see how this is gonna generate all this geometry along here. I'm just gonna redraw my circle along this face and that's gonna heal this edge. And that's gonna be important because we're gonna use follow me in order to uh, basically extrude this in a circle. But what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm just gonna draw a face in here that's about the size of what I think my light fixture is gonna be because then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw the profile of my shape and we could also do this using the push pull tool kind of like we did over here but in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way instead and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw this down and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of drawing out the profile of the shape so I'm thinking about what this shape would look like if we were to extrude this in a circle and so 
I'm just going to draw this profile in here real quick and then what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this in a circle and then we're going to use the extension round corner in order to round off these edges to make this fixture look better. So just a couple more and we'll go ahead and close this in and then we're just going to erase this edge out. And now I'm just going to select this circle, activate the follow me tool and then extrude this in a circle just like this. And so now we just need to come in here and we just need to use the extension round corner in order to do that. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this, right click and do a reverse face. Now we're gonna come in here and just start rounding these off. Cause I'm, I'm gonna do each one of these individually. You don't necessarily have to do that, but in this case I'm going to. I'm also gonna heal the edge in here so that there's actually a face but I'm just gonna start rounding these edges off. And so you can see how the nice thing about this is not only can you use this to round off your outside edges, you can use it to round the inside edges as well. And you can see how I can click on two of these at once if I want to, so I can kinda of see what's gonna happen. I can see if these are like overlapping or not based on um, selecting two of these as once, at once so I can kind of see where these edges are gonna be. So in this case, maybe like a 0.5, or this one would be something a little smaller, maybe like a 0.25 or maybe even an eighth, probably an eighth in this case. And then this one is gonna have a much more pronounced rounding, so maybe like an inch. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset this inside. And uh, so the reason I'm gonna offset this inside is because I can come in here and I can delete out the faces that this created so that I have an actual kind of light fixture shape in here. And then if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could extrude out like a light bulb shape. So probably the way I would do that is I would do a view, hidden geometry, and actually, I would copy this circle off to the side. Just so I have something to work from. And I could find the center point this way. And let's say we wanted our light bulb to run out to about here. We draw a little arc here. Maybe make a couple copies of that. Maybe do something like this, just to give us kind of this profile shape. Probably redraw this circle over this face again, just to make it a smooth circle. And then we'll use the follow me tool to extrude this in a circle using this edge. And then we can just make a copy of it using the move tool in copy mode. And then move it back across in place. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Move it down, and there you go. And one thing you could do as you're doing this is you could probably create some more um, like groups to separate the different pieces of geometry. But you can see how I was able to create this shape really easily. So that's one of the powers of round corners. It can really take your simple shapes like this one and start making them look more realistic. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you use Round Corner? What do you use it for? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.